Hello everyone, Chiki here with another Transformers review, and today I will be reviewing the LEGO Optimus Prime. And if you watch some of my previous videos of Sheik's builds, I did finish building him. Although I didn't quite go through everything, like all of his, all of his accessories as far as, you know, like, well, I did show him off a little bit, but not like, you know, up close and personal, whatever. But yeah, um... So, I guess let's get down to Optimus and his accessories. Okay, uh, he is pretty tall. As you can see, the camera is tilted fairly high up. Um, he does have his ion blaster right here, which is pretty cool. Um, it tabs into his forearm, and it is pretty cool. I'd say fairly accurate, and then that can also collapse down for storage in his vehicle mode. <clears throat> Alternate piece for the bumper for truck mode. Pointless flattened Energon cube. Energon axe, which you can swap out. And side swipes jet pack, which you can also put on him. And then here we have his uh, nameplate, label plate display thing that you can have stand up at the base of Optimus Prime. And he is, like I said, really big. That noggin, uh, there are complaints about it. Uh, but I don't have as many complaints because it is Lego. It is supposed to look Lego, I guess. I mean, I know that people have come up with other things, but as far as transforming, I've heard of some other heads that you can do but they don't fit as well for transformation anyway uh, you can open up the chest and there is a matrix of leadership that you can pull out it is very simple doesn't really look a whole lot like the matrix although it does look more like the comic book version if i remember right which is cool uh, this is the piece that you swap out for the optional bumper piece because that is his robot mode piece. Um, and then thigh stickers and then uh, legs and feet. So he's uh, pretty cool. Not super articulated so I guess I can go ahead and show off articulation real quick uh, carefully because there are some parts that do like to come off. His head is on a ball joint and then rotation for transformation, but you can look up, yeah, about that far, down pretty far, and you can do a full 360. Gets a decent amount of wibbly wobbly. Arms, you got about that far. Um, there was another, now of course, this would be parts for me, and then you'd have to move it back for, um, vehicle mode but you can move this out a little bit further this piece out just a little bit further so that you can get more at the shoulder you can also get a little bit backwards but that's more for transformation and if you look closely in his chest you'll see that these well it's kind of hard to see but those two um bars right there tab into those Two little black holes that's actually pretty cool i never noticed that but yeah that is what kind of helps keep it in place so really you shouldn't have that shoulder backward motion at least in robot mode uh you get 90 degree bend at the elbow you do get bicep rotation wrist rotation um fingers there are three fingers but there is a uh, piece holding them all together and then a thumb right there there is a hip rotation, but you can tab this into place to hold everything a little bit better. But then, of course, you won't get hip rotation. But if you do, you do get some, but it's more of up here. And if you see that seam, it's not supposed to be there. It just tends to work its way up, and it's really annoying. Like, anytime you rotate it, it, it just works itself loose. But yeah, you do have hip rotation in that sense, but not <laughs> technically, I guess. Um, you do get about that far at the hips. Um, about that far forward. If you flip this up, about that far forward. Nothing at the knees. You can't go back, really, because of um, this panel, which can be fixed. 
and I might show the fix real quick that I came up with myself based off of a video that I saw someone else do. Although they didn't use, they used another piece. I just don't have my collection of Lego, so I can't really do that right off, right, um, right now. Uh, knee rotation, no thigh rotation, which would drive some people nuts, but hey, it does give you a little bit of playability as far as, hey, you can have his legs to give the somewhat of illusion that his, well, that he's not just pretty much G1 Optimus Prime redone in Lego, which is kind of what he is. And then you do get some stuff at the foot, and there is actually a little bit of ankle tiltage, which is nice. Considering the G1 uh, definitely did not have that. And then for the backpack, jetpack, this clips on to these in the back. And you just guide that in, and it thunks into place. And he has a jetpack, so he can fly. Pretty cool. And then this, to get his Energon Axe on, you just pull off his hand, rotate that down, and then there's a little block in here. It's going to be hard to see, but there's a little... You should... Um, it's lighting in here. It's hard to see, but let's see if that will help a little bit. There's a little cross in there that um, this brown thing slides right into and there we have him with his energon axe which is pretty cool um i like it but it's not something i'm gonna do too terribly much and saying that you have to pull off his hand to do it but it is something that you can uh, do and that's pretty much about it for what you can do with uh optimus as and like I said, posability, um, this guy, he's just a little bit better than G1 Optimus Prime. If not, I mean, maybe significantly better. I don't know. But he is pretty good. Definitely, yeah. But uh, I don't feel like heavily modifying him to try to make him super, super amazing. Because he is more of a display piece, in my opinion, rather than action figure to pose. I mean, I guess posing is still kind of people do that with their collections anyway but yeah get them into really nice poses and such i like to do that too but this is something i feel like it's just a standard pose is pretty much all you really need but the fix that i was thinking about doing was to um remove this piece right here on the fingers if i can get it off there we are although there is a concern that the fingers might well come off but then as you can see they can move separately but the main concern is, is that they might rotate off the uh, piece holding them on but the thought process is that right here instead of this right here you could have one of these or a two by three of the blue one and then all of a sudden you can get backward leg motion but honestly yeah, even now, I might do that with a 2x3 when I get back home, but it's right now it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal because it's not like it's more of just handling that I'd be concerned about. Because if you just happen to be messing with him and then oof, his leg goes far, too far back and pops this whole thing apart, well, then of course it's not going to be a fun day, fun time. Anyway, without further ado, let's get down to transformation okay so okay I guess we can start up here sort of okay so let's just go ahead and let's see go ahead and get this piece on here first get this back up there we are okay so we kind of just want to have his hands opened up I like this thumbs pretty much all the way up like that and then you're gonna push his hands down down and then before you rotate his shoulders back, you are going to want to lift this up. So you can then rotate around. So that you can then put his head back. You don't necessarily have to rotate it around, but I like to do that. And then just rotate back. Rotate forward. And you might need to move the hand just a little bit. Come on. Oh, there we are. Come on. 
trying to come apart. Uh, there we are. I think. Nope. Oh, wait. That's what we need to do. Okay. Rotate the legs <laughs> up. There we are. And then rubber tires, which are good. Love the rubber tires, but they are um, causing the backdrop to move a little bit. But you get those rotated. Rotate the feet down. Clip the legs together. Get this put into place. Rotate the hands down. So I and rotate the cap around so you can get a better look at what to do here. So what we do is we get okay, we got that in. Now we just need to get this down. I also forgot to flip these little panels out on the arms. So just get those out, and then you don't have to, but I personally like to do it because it just makes it feel a little better is that you can just tab that into place. I don't remember it specifically saying uh, that it's supposed to click into place like that, but um, yeah. So pretty much got in truck mode. I will admit this doesn't seem to stick quite into place as much as I would like. So there is a, that little bit of a seam right there. Rotate. And on this side, it's the same problem there. The truck mode, though, overall, I think looks really nice. Um, honestly, I'll probably keep him in truck mode most of the time, once, uh, assuming I don't completely disassemble him to send him back home or something, But because he is pretty big. But yeah, last step to do, get him fully into truck mode. You don't have to do it. And you can also leave this in on robot mode if you don't want to parts from but that's the only actual true parts for him based on the instructions that you do on this guy so yeah that's pretty much it to get him into truck mode and then the gun the blaster which they did mention hey it never could be stored in the uh, original toy pretty much just put it in between his legs it doesn't really latch into place but it sits there fairly well so I don't really care too much but it looks fairly nice um it'd be cool if they were to do a um a trailer set to go with this with a roller and everything i doubt they'll do it but that would be pretty cool none of the other accessories they incorporate into vehicle mode but it kind of makes sense honestly because it is fairly g1 but hey yeah, that it is what it is i think this is a really cool lego set um, initially, I wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, I had my doubts, but I also thought it was really cool at the same time. But I definitely had fun putting this guy together. Uh, finally glad that i been back long enough to actually uh, film a review of him, not just, you know, finishing up the building. And if you like this review and you'd like to see more, please click that like and subscribe button to see more. And until next time, have a good one, everyone.